Spirit of God will minister to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we worship you, we honor you, we adore you. King of glory, you are worthy of all the praises of God, my Father. We love you, sweet Jesus, and we know that you are loving us so much. We ask, oh Lord God, that you will release your power and glory through your word, the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, that your word will come, and Lord God, bring edification and healing and a miracle and transformation of God, my Father, and all that you want to do, that you will do it today in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be your holy name. Cover me, O God, under your wings. And Lord, bring your deep revelations to King of glory. Hallelujah. We give all the glory and honor to you. Whatever the power may stand against the word of God and your revelation, I bind and arrest and demolish that away in Jesus' mighty name. We give all the glory and honor to you. In Jesus' blessed name, we ask this prayer. Amen. 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 You may be seated now. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you have your Bible? Hope everybody. Okay. It's good to bring your Bible. Amen. Let's turn our Bible to. Turn our Bible to. Gospel of John chapter 3. John. Book of John. Chapter 3. Verse from. Chapter 3 verse from 14 to 21. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And, and this is the condemnation, that the light has come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his deed should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light, that his deed may be clearly seen, that they have been done in God. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are seeing a very, it's a very important portion. And there is one particular word it has been repeating in almost all the words. Amen. What is that word? Anybody noticed? Belief. Belief. Amen. I'm going to talk and today in relation with what is a faith and what is a belief. Amen. So just want to encourage you, whatever your situation or the condition you and me, we are going through. But I want to tell you, the God we are worshipping, He is Almighty God. Everything is possible by Him. Hallelujah. Amen. That's good news I can give. So what's the difference between belief, faith and belief? What's the difference? What do you think? If somebody coming and asking you, what is the difference between faith and belief? Hmm? What? Faith is believing without seeing. Okay. So that's a definition for what? Definition for? Faith. faith. So what is believing? What do you all think about believe? Hmm? Accept it. Yes, Brother Paul. Something you trust will definitely happen. Amen. That's a true definition. Amen. Hallelujah. Trust. Trust that will definitely happen. 
So something you trust that definitely happened means what you will do? You will be in action for the things to be happen, isn't it? So faith, faith is, is a source and belief is in action. So for example, I can bring an example like uh, those who are driving the car. You go, you take the car key and you know that when you put the car and when you start, when you put the car, the car will start if there is no problem. That is your faith. But for you to, you know, for the car to move, what you have to do? Just starting is enough? Is just starting is enough for the car to move? What else the drivers need to do? Huh? Not just believing and sitting there. What you have to do in practical way? Action. What, what kind of action? Come on, Sister Belsey. You got a full license. You see there? <laughs> Amen. What kind of action? Put the gear. If put the gear into first, or if it is automatic, A. Amen. My car is very simple. Put A. Thank God for that car. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then, just putting in first, that's enough? Accelerator. Okay. Somebody got past the theory test. <laughs> I'm saying put the accelerator. Press the accelerator. And release the, the clutch. Amen. So starting the car is not enough. Starting the car is the faith that when you put the key, when you turn on the key, the car will start. For the car to move towards your destination, then you need to do few another steps. So the another step is that it is a belief. When you put into the first gear and put your accelerator, for example, a stone is there standing before your front wheel or the back wheel, giving little bit accelerator. The car will find a very little bit hard, in, isn't it? Hard to move. So what you'll do, you'll press more. That is a belief. So becoming an action is a belief. And faith is a source. Thinking of something that is going to happen, that is a source, is a faith. And putting the steps in action is a belief. So if the stone is in front of your car, then as I said, you will be putting more accelerator. Then when the car started to move, when you wanted to move, save the time, little more time saving, what you will do? Saving the time and saving the petrol or diesel, what you will do? You will not run the car in the first gear, isn't it? You will move to the second gear, then if you want again more saving, more saving of your petrol and more saving of your timing, what you will do? You will pass it into the third gear. And then you will pass it into the fourth gear. Then if you want to run very fast and save more petrol, what you will do? You will go into the fifth gear. So there is a saving. There is a time saving, there is a fuel consumption, that also we are saving it. So there is a step you are putting forward. That is the way, dear children of God, when Christ Jesus he is talking here, he is talking about belief. He is talking about belief. So faith is a source that we are having a faith inside. For the faith to be exercised, that you need to move into different actions. As I said, if the stone is hitting your car, you need to be pressed a little more harder. So there are struggles comes in our life. There are difficulties comes in our life. So that what you need to do, as we heard from Sister Marilyn, she was fasting and praying. And the things God has made it very easily. And many testimony. When, when we heard about the driving tests, putting your trust upon Jesus completely and going yourself zero, 
who, who pressed the accelerator? Jesus was pressing, hallelujah, in behalf of the daughter. Amen, behalf of his daughter. That's what I want to tell you. Jesus did not say to anybody, any mankind, any saints of God, even to his disciples, he did not say, you will not have a trials and tribulation. You will not have a struggle in the earth. Did anybody not having any trials and tribulation? I believe that you all have a money. I believe that you all have a nice house. I believe that you all have a nice bed to sleep. But there are times you will be struggled to get to sleep, isn't it? The sleep is not up to your money standard. That sleep is not up to how you decorated your room. Or how nice the air condition or how nice the heating system. The sleep doesn't come in that source. But the sleep comes only by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So when he doesn't get sleep, what he will do? You will be trusting upon God. You will be young and praying and trusting upon God. So that's what I want to tell you. In the Christian life, we go. Jesus said, you have a trials and tribulation in the earth. But, he put a but there. And he said, be a good cheer up. Be a good cheer up. Hallelujah. There are worldly people, they are having a good mindset. They will have a cheer up. But in Christ Jesus, you and me, we are to put a good cheer up. Trust upon the living God. When a stone standing in front of your running way, when a stone or when a, when a wind or a heaviness, anything, any flat concerning something coming in your pathway, what do you need to do? Instead of your pressing a little bit, your accelerator, when, the, when there is a smooth way, we know that we will be giving the accelerator a little bit. But when there is something stopping you from moving your, towards your destination, you will be pressing a little more harder. Hallelujah. That is what I want to tell you. In belief, there are different steps you need to move forward. Different steps you need to move forward according to the situation, according to the condition, according to the problem you are facing, according to the enemy you are facing. Hallelujah. You need to put your belief in action in a different level. Amen. You cannot be I am mean, acting like how we act for a fever when the fever comes. Amen. The doctors, if they give the medication just for the fever, for the cancer patient, it's not going to go the cancer. So they need to treat in a different way. In the Christian way, in the Christian life, dear children of God, hallelujah. Many of us, we are struggling and we are failure in our day-to-day -day life. I find it very difficult. You know, I recognize that this last Monday... Why the church is not bringing mighty testimonies? I found it some dryness. Then I started to pray. I started to pray. I decided that Lord, and not decided, I started to pray. I want to see supernatural miracle. I want to see the glorious things happening. I want to see the mighty miracles taking place. Why not? Is it only for some special people? No. No, when you are claiming it, when you are pressing your accelerator so harder, I, I mean, I will tell you, every Jericho was standing, every blind spiritual blindness standing before you, it will be hitting and we shall be moving forward. I mean, as I was praying, I was praying and came down, you know. Merlin's sister who got the, passed the exam now, going to come very soon. She's a great prayer warrior. I'm very glad, you know. She's a very great prayer warrior, hallelujah. And she's very gifted also, amen. So she saw a dream there on Monday. And I came to know that dream. She saw a big church. A big church. And there I'm ministering. And I was very busy and she saw that the people were standing on the queue to testify. You see, my, what was my prayer? I found it a dryness in the area of the testimony. And my prayer was, Lord, I want to see supernatural miracles taking place. Mighty testimonies need to be raised up. Hallelujah. And the dream 
All the way from Kuwait, it is conveying that I saw a big church and you are pastoring and you are so busy. And people were, and more than that, she said the people were standing on the queue to testify. Amen. And she said people were traveling from London to attend the service. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you think it is not possible? Oh, it is possible. Hallelujah. It is possible by my Lord Jesus Christ. Because I know the God I am serving. Hallelujah. He can stand our boundary more than this Kilmana area. He can make us to reach out the whole Dublin. He can make us to reach out the whole Ireland. He can make us to reach out the whole Europe in the name of Jesus. And we shall move out of the Europe for the glory of his kingdom. Hallelujah. Oh, when you pray, and when you press your accelerator, amen, I will tell you, the enemy's plan and the enemy's bondages, that will break. So that was the dream. She saw it in Kuwait. Then I was keep praying continuously on Tuesday. And Tuesday early in the morning, the middle of my prayer, I just felt, because of tiredness, felt a little bit sleep. Early in the morning, I saw a dream. Amen. The Lord is using me in front of a big crowd ministering. Amen. For the big crowd. That is a confirmation. Hallelujah. So that's what the Bible says. Where your heart is, there your treasure will be. Hallelujah. Where your heart is moving forward. I want to tell you, many of you are afraid of your situation. Many of you are um, struggling. You are um, difficulty. I will tell you, press your accelerator. Amen. Turn your gear into the second. Turn your gear into third. Turn your gear into fall, turn your gear into the higher fifth in the name of Jesus, that your car will run how many, 120, 130, 140. There you can save the time. There you can save the fuel in the name of Jesus Christ. That you will not look under the mountain and talk about the mountain, but you will talk about the how, many, how you can overcome the mountain in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we have a faith. Come on, come on. The faith needs to be put in an action. That is called a belief. That is called a belief. Hallelujah. When Jesus spoke to his disciples, <coughs> I really appreciate the disciples, sometimes they struggled. But there are many times they believed, you know, in a very blindness. When Jesus spoke to two of his disciples and told them, Come on, go to this, this village and you will see a house like this, like this. And you will see a man coming with a, with a vessel of water. And you will see a young donkey. Coat. What's that? Cold. Okay, whatever it is. I'm not very good in English, okay? Trying to learn. Amen. And did they ask any question to Jesus? The disciples? Jesus said, if they ask, you answer them. But they did not ask any question to Jesus. What will say? What if it is not there? They did not ask. One believing on the word of Jesus Christ, they pressed their accelerator. They were moving into first to second, then the third to fourth, then into the fifth. They went to the spot and they saw exactly the house was there. They saw exactly the man was coming. They saw exactly that animal was there. They saw exactly the man was asking. And they answered, the master need it. Hallelujah. And Jesus said he will release it. And he released. Amen. The purpose of God was fulfilled. And the glory of God came upon the city. Hallelujah. I want to tell you when you press on. When you move forward. The glory of God will come upon your life. The glory of God will come upon your situation. Because you are not pressing enough. Because you are not getting along with the Holy Spirit of God. The things are not moving forward. Hallelujah. You are looking under the mountain. And I am talking about the mountain. That is not a real Christian life. He's not talking about the mountain, it's a Christian life. But how you can demolish that mountain to move out, that is a Christian life. Hallelujah. It's not you talk about the problem, no. It's not you talk about the power and negativeness, no. You're not meant to be a man. You're not serving that God. You're serving the living God. Hallelujah. In another place, Jesus called, Jesus made a challenge. 
the people coming and telling telling him why you and your disciples were not paying the tamen tax immediately jesus wanted to obey the rule what did jesus do jesus called peter the fisherman jesus called peter you know jesus said everything amen the money man he had the fisherman he had every area he had everything amen we have everything also in ministry of jesus i thank god hallelujah every area is covered by faith now amen we struggled a bit but god has made it possible because we are pressing forward hallelujah we are moving forward so jesus called peter and what did jesus say come on go go to the sea and put put your you know whatever it is the tool and immediately you will see a fish coming on that on the hook you will get the fish and when you get the fish open the mouth and you will see what the coin inside anybody ever get the coin inside the mouth of the fish anybody ever anybody seen in the newspaper a man so in the country they found the coin in the fish mouth and anybody ever seen the radio, I mean, radio news or the tv news they found the coin in the fish mouth when god command and without doubting peter press power even though he is a fisherman he knows it i mean he was catching i mean maybe many many fish different colors different size different name of the fish he caught it in his whole life but he never caught a fish with a coin but rather he did not open a mouth to jesus christ no how this is going to happen how fish is going to produce the coin he knows that it is not going to happen but he believed upon the word of jesus christ and he was pressing forward and he went and exactly he got a face and exactly he opened the mouth and exactly he saw the coin inside of the mouth hallelujah that is called the blind believe that is what called you are pressing into the fifth gear and moving forward hallelujah that is called the greater miracle i mean a greater achievement dear children of god today you might be staying on your failure today you might be staying in your disappointed today you might be thinking that things are not moving it's taking much time hallelujah the reason i want to tell you some of the stone is standing on your way some of the crookedness the storm is standing on your way press your accelerator i'm in strong and put your gear into the top move forward when the things are getting more i'm in away from your path go to the another gear in the name of jesus i'm in look for another miracle look for a greater miracle i'm in that's what i will tell lord we are not satisfied by what we are having we want to see another glorious things another glorious things hallelujah you have the testimony of sister marlene i know you know she she wrote many times uh, sister marlene's uh, sister in kuwait but that day i know the result was coming so when i was praying something the spirit of god was telling come on go they got a family group so i'm in do that in whatsapp also so telling me come on put a put a message that thank god for a victory praise god for a victory like that but i didn't press my accelerator i was you know busy with something else then after little while again the same message came to me so i put it i i took my mobile i put thank god for the victory the lord has given you let us celebrate that hallelujah so that message i put and so i pressed that first first gear and then and then again from the other side somebody on the family group merlin is putting amen to that she said amen for that and see from kuwait she is telling thank 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 god i receive your prophecy she said so she is pressing into the third gear and as i was sitting in the prayer in the afternoon time singing this song our god is greater that's my personal prayer not for her i was singing that song 
And Merlin is running to the room with a mobile showing the square. What has happened? She got, you know, sound point fire and everything. Hallelujah. You see, without you seeing the definition Teresa given, without you seeing becoming an accent by trusting, hallelujah, that that mountain will move away, that you will see the result, hallelujah, because the result is not about your prayer, it's not about your church, it's not about how conditioned you are. The result comes from the creator of the whole universe. He is a God who can able to accomplish everything, hallelujah. We need to believe and trust upon him. We need to believe and trust upon him and move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. When the time of the, the people were listening the gospel for three, three, uh, three days from Jesus Christ. And in the end, he felt they had so much hunger. Is there somebody else preaching? You can hear some other sound. So as he was preaching three days, then the end, he felt they will be hungry. So Jesus asked his disciples, we need to feed them. And as everybody was wondering and some said, how come we can feed for all these people? Even if we send this much of money, we cannot get the food. But there was one man, one of his disciples was very busy looking. What is the source we can feed these people? Who was that man? Anybody? Who was that man? Huh? Who? Aunt True. What did he do? He found a boy. He was busy. Untrue. Everybody was thinking that, oh, we are not having money. There is no shop. His surrounding is completely wilderness. No tree to pluck an apple or no tree to get an orange or anything. No water even. So all were, you know, sitting beside Jesus. But untrue. He was very busy. He was running around. What is the way we can feed? Come on, my master has commanded. So if he is commanded, things will happen. If his command is not nothing, I mean, he will not open his mouth unless, it's, I mean, unless it is going to happen. As Andrew was busy, he found that a boy have a, had a two fish and five loaves. And here he is coming with a happy news. Andrew knows it, that with the five, two fish and five loaves, it is impossible to feed more than 5,000 people. Is it not practical? He knew it. His mind was telling. But he was pressing the gear. Hallelujah. He was pressing the accelerator. He's coming to Jesus Christ. Where the source of miracle, the Lord Jesus Christ. And he said, this boy have a two fish and five loaves. And Jesus said, that Jesus was pressing into the fifth gear. He said, come on, bring him. Hallelujah. He took it in his hand. And he prayed and he multiplied. What happened now? 5,000 men were eaten, and there was another people, the children and the ladies were there. And what happened in the end? Is that just the miracle? 12 baskets remaining. 12, 12 baskets for what? 12 baskets for 12 disciples. Come on, disciples, you are standing with me. Hallelujah. They only have eaten now. But for you to eat tomorrow and day after tomorrow, carry a basket to your house. Hallelujah. Amen. When you stand with the Lord Jesus Christ, when you keep pressing more, when you, amen, when you are serving the Lord, the others will receive one, maybe one fish and some loves. But when you are in the serving the, with, the, with the Lord, you can have a basket, I mean, extra basket, extra miracle that will come with you. Hallelujah. I mean, that's what I will tell you, dear children of God. If the stone is stopping your room and you're moving forward, if something is moving, I mean, stopping you, I want to tell you, don't look at that and cry your life. I mean, don't waste your time. Don't waste your energy being in the first gear. Hallelujah. I mean, God is a God had a greater plan for you to save your time. God have a greater plan for you to save your money, not to waste your petrol. Always in the first gear. Hallelujah. No, you are wasting your time. You are wasting your money. Hallelujah. God has a greater plan that you need to keep pressing forward. That you can save the time and time. That you will not be like a, 
like a flight but you will be like a helicopter i mean not a helicopter you will be like a rocket like a rocket hallelujah on the spot you will hit and you will go into the air you will go into the air in the name of jesus christ so get connected with this lord jesus christ so that's what the bible says john chapter 3 verse 14 jesus says jesus is bringing an example there most has lifted up the serpent in the wilderness even so must the son of man be lifted up why is bringing an example of moses to nicodemus because nicodemus is you know all about moses he knows all about moses so he is talking in a way where nicodemus can understand the jews can understand so we know that situation is taking place in book of numbers chapter 21 verse 9 there the people were bitten by the serpents and they were dying but god almighty has told moses to make a bronze serpent and hang it on the air and god said those who are looking those who are bitten by the serpent and those who are looking at that bronze serpent they will be healed is it practical by is it, is it practical way is that prawn serpent is going to be a medication for healing up serpent biting no but there is there there is a power in the word of god hallelujah so there are many people they were thinking in their own mindset <coughs> they were in their first gear not pressing not lifting their head on up you know many when the serpent come and bite you you'll be like this you'll be like this isn't it you'll be into your put you what you you'll be like this and thinking up your pain and doing a research inside why this pain how come how what is mri scan is showing what is x ray is showing what is this report is showing what is that report is showing all that your research will be concerning your pain concerning your mountain but there are people in that situation they lifted their head up and they were saw that prawn swam and serpent on the air which moses was lifted moses is a servant of god the 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 prawn serpent was in the hands of the anointed hands hallelujah so those who saw that serpent they got healed and the people were like this thinking of the serpent biting they all died on the spot that is what dear children of god i mean in a practical way it is not possible but i will tell you in a spiritual way it is possible when you keep pressing in a spiritual way you don't know where the miracle come from hallelujah you don't know where who is going to do god almighty will command his angels to stand in in behalf of you god almighty will release his glory in behalf of you ora bakala mama landira Oh hallelujah. I always remember this miracle I said before and I feel like to as I was doing the shopping in Fountil so I left the clothes outside and nobody was there in the house and it was a heavy rain. So in the shop I commanded let there be no rain surrounding my house. So I was I finished the shopping I was driving the car towards the towards the house all the compound everywhere there is water but I when I went to my house on my balcony there is no water there is no rain hallelujah because I know who command the rain and who stop the rain it is up to your faith dear children of God so it's not that all the time we have to test that no that's a moment I need that I could not rush to save the clothes I mean it might be a smaller miracle for you but it revealed the glory of God in my life hallelujah that is why I still remember that what my God has done it whenever you are downside whenever you are thinking something whenever the negativeness come go back to the history of your life go back to the history of your life and think count your blessing name the one by one i will tell you that situation that time it will surprise you amen everything 
it will help me to move forward hallelujah it will help me to move forward amen those who wanted to have a victorious christian life i will tell you close your eye and just believe on jesus christ when you get a medical report just close the report and believe on the report of the lord the report of the lord says you are healed hallelujah when you are looking for some exam or a result hallelujah don't think of your ability don't think of your knowledge hallelujah think of the report of god almighty the report of god says amen hallelujah that he will be amen give us success amen he will give us success <coughs> hallelujah amen two days back i saw a, a song came from my sister back in india in pondicherry is all about you know mother mary is completely the the video was so much idol and everything so i placed a message to her i was telling her after seeing and the song is says that you are the god of the world the singer is singing about mother mary god of the world so i replied my sister after seeing this mighty god the savior of the world the lord jesus christ how can you place this song i thought she will get upset but she didn't send me any reply but this morning as i was praying she sent me a message telling me brother pray for my husband he has applied for a for a for his job to move into the government college he is working in the private college so he has applied the government college and immediately i sent a reply i will pray that god almighty will do a miracle and read from the bible I mean I say chapter 45 verse 2 and 3 read it I want her to read the bible because they're not having the habit to read the bible so immediately when I I mean the next minute she placed that word see I think she went to the google and she took the word and she placed is this is a word she asked I said yes this is a word god is going to go give a victory Amen. hallelujah the word of god has a power and authority the promises of god which is standing before you and me hallelujah for you to move forward for you to sharpen your path into the wider way in the name of jesus christ that will make a success that will make a mighty miracles that will make a glorious things in the name of jesus christ son of the living god hallelujah hallelujah don't waste your time i know you have a faith but for you to put that faith in action you need to come into the belief the belief is trusting completely when you are trusting completely you will be in action hallelujah you will be action continuously until you reach that destination you will not stop in off way you will move forward hallelujah you will move forward you will move forward you will go unto the destination and you will receive the hidden treasures which are stored for you and me hallelujah and it shall stand as a testimony my god has given me the victory my god has given me the victory hallelujah So Jesus says <coughs> verse 18 he says verse 17 and 18 for God sent his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved he that believe on him is not condemned so what is the key belief belief so the contamination is in whose hand is it in god's hand whose hand is in our hand because the bible says he that believe on him is not contempt he is not believing he is not believing he will be contempt so it is in our hand to change the situation upside down 
whether you want it to be in that situation or you wanted to come out of that situation come on you pr press forward you press forward get filled by the holy ghost get filled by the fire of god hallelujah get filled by the prayer life get filled by the word of god claim the word of god i will promise you i will tell you i will guarantee you how I many your destination will be higher your destination your position will be higher in the name of jesus christ because you are not doing that god almighty who has called you he is the god is doing that for you hallelujah so he says he that believe on him is not contempt but he that believe not is contempt already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son believe on jesus christ that he is with you all the time verse 19 he says this is a condemnation that light has come into the world the man loved darkness rather than the light because their deeds are evil hallelujah many time we are not receiving the miracle many time we are not pushing power we are disobedience we are not believing completely hallelujah I mean, the light is there. The light has already come into the world. The light has already come. I'm recently I heard a testimony. A Hindu man is testifying as he become so much into spiritual in Hinduism. So he started to read the, world, the, 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 the books of the Hindu. And he, there he found about the light. It's talking about the light. So then he started to think. Everybody is thinking of the light. The light has come. But then he started to think, who is that light? When he started to keep pressing, more than everybody is thinking, then he was end up into the Lord Jesus Christ. He could able to find the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Nobody went and preached the Lord to him. But when he started to think more than anybody else, everybody is into the light. But he was thinking, who is that light? He started to find who is that light. He found the savior of the world. Hallelujah. He found the source of all the miracle. He found a man who can forgive the sins. One who can turn your darkness into the light. I mean, one who can make the glory of, you, of your life. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, the darkness may try to put it down. The contamination. You might be contaminating yourself. Or others might be condemning yourself. It is your duty to reject it. It is your duty to reject it. Hallelujah. In Christ Jesus, there is no condemnation. Hallelujah. That's what the word of God says. Do you believe that? Give a clap for the Lord God Almighty. Jesus did not come to condemn you. Jesus did not come to condemn you. Jesus come to set you free. Hallelujah. So that you will celebrate him. Hallelujah. That you will celebrate him. Oh, glory to God in the highest. Thank God for the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus said, you have a trials and tribulation. But be cheer up. I have overcome the world. That means the overcome the Lord Jesus Christ is with you. When you are going under the fire, he did not say that you will go alone. When you go on the water, he did not say that you will be going alone. Hallelujah. But the Bible says, when you go in the midst of the fire, that I will be with you. When you go pass through the water, that I will be with you. Hallelujah. The God we are worshipping is not the God who stays in the temple. He is not a God who stays in the mountain. He is not a God who stays in the um, in a holy place. He is a God who is with you all the time. Inside your house, in your workplace, in your hospital, in your situation in your driving spot in your exam hall hallelujah he is with you press forward press your accelerator hallelujah switch your gear into the higher that you will save the time that you will save the fuel in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i command that to be happen upon your life today in jesus mighty name hallelujah shall we all stand in the presence of god Hallelujah. I hope you understand about the difference between the faith and the belief. Hallelujah. Many of us, we mistaken. We think that the faith and belief is saying, 
Oh, that is why you are staying in the place where you are. How long you will carry this burden, dear children of God? How long you will carry this pain? How long you will carry this sickness? How long? I encourage all of you to be in the attitude of prayer. The service is not over. Don't go. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, God. How long this mountain will stand. Don't go back, dear children of God. Don't go back and waste your time. Think of your failures. Think of your disappointment. Think of the situation the devil has put you down. Don't think of that. A greater thing God is keeping for you. Don't look at the mountain and talk about the mountain. But talk about how you will overcome that mountain in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ora la mama kala baba landira. Aushadala baba kala baba landi. If God has spoken to you, that prophecy will be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. If God has spoken to you the promised word, it is a living promised word. That promised word will be fulfilled in your life in the name of Jesus. Believe and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Ora mama kala baba landi rala bakala baba landi. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Oh, lift your hand and come in. Lift your hand and look unto Jesus. Whatever your situation now, truly, release that situation in the hands of God. Hallelujah. Oh, Rama, Mama, Kala, Baba, Landi. Oh, don't expect this service like Amen, another service. Yes, for something new things to be happened today for you. Yes, for something greater things to be happened. The report of the Amen. The report of any officers. The report of any government. The report of any failures. I break the Lord in the name of Jesus. I break the Lord in the name of Jesus. The report of any failures. I break the Lord in the name of Jesus. You are the real children of God. You are the true worshiper of the living God. Oh, your destination is a success. Your destination is a victory. You might be dumb and looking. Every door is shut. But I will tell you, when Christ opened the door, nobody can shut that. Hallelujah. When Christ shut the door of your failure, nobody can open that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, God, my master. Clap your hand and believe upon him. Clap your hand and believe upon him. Press your gear into second. Press your gear into third. Press your gear into fourth. Press your gear into fifth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Supernatural miracle. We are going to see it. Amen. The coming day. Hallelujah. It is the glory. Thank you, Lord, my God, my Father. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord, my God, my Father. Oh, do you do a miracle so great, oh God? Oh, I will tell you, my Jesus doesn't know the tiny bit miracle. Oh my Jesus, in his list, there is no tiny bit miracle, no. In his list, amen, oh, that is a greater miracle. Oh, that is a mighty miracle. Oh, that mighty moment, big moment, that cannot stand. In the list of my Lord Jesus Christ, do you believe that? Hallelujah, hallelujah, shake your foundation today. Shake your foundation today. Shake your foundation today. Ora mama makala baba landira. Glory, 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 glory. 
to God, my master. The situation may say that it is not going to happen. The right side may be saying that how this, the brown serpent, it is going to heal. But because inside of that, the word of God is there, that will bring a healing. I command you, God, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command the glory of God will come upon their life and turn the situation upside down and bring the miracle for your people in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus. Bless them abundantly, O God, Father. Believe that you will testify next week in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God Almighty. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. to travel is a little bit. Yeah, we will pray for you. Let us pray. Amen. For Sister Uma, she's going to travel to Kuwait this fourth to meet the husband. And let's pray that uh, the glory of God will make everything bring the family very soon to Ireland in Jesus name. Father, we bring our dear sister in your hand, God, my Lord. We release your safety upon her regard, my Father. We release your joy and a peace over her in Jesus' mighty name. That your presence will go before her regard, my Father. That she will have a wonderful time with the family in Jesus' mighty name, with the husband. At the right time, Lord, the family will join with her back in here. Again, we pray for Merlin also. Lord, my God, every paperwork is waiting for the family. That will become and become very soon. That she will save the time in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be your holy name, my God, my Father. Lord God, we as a church, let us, amen. Let us, of course, Sister Chandra and the family now, let us pray for them. For the peace of God to come upon them. The comforting power of God to come upon them. And the doctor will reach very safely in the right time in Jesus' mighty name. The God Almighty will take control over the Thursday. That the message will reach out to many people attending. And they will come to know that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. Mighty God, we pray for Sister Chandra and Son, Lord God, Amen. Swamiya in your hand. We bring them, Lord God. Bless them, my Father. Comfort them. Let your peace will be upon them in the name of Jesus. That you are the God who can replace that place to God, my master. We pray that God, you will take control over the funeral service, the message and every arrangement. That you will touch many souls going to attend with God for your glory. Blessed be your holy name. I pray for your beloved people today, my God. I speak a blessing of God upon them. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit of the living God. And our face will not be put in the same. Our face will be shined with the glory of God. That every path we are putting our step forward in God. That the amen extension will be amen in God. The boundary will be extended in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Savior. Bless our church. Rise up us for your glory, my God, my Father. We surrender everything to your blessed hand. Bless the speak with abundance of your grace and your holy mercy, O God, Father. We give all the glory and honor to you and you alone, my King. In Jesus' mighty name, we ask this prayer. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. May God bless you. Amen. Praise God. God willingly, we will be conducting a baptism service up to two weeks, you know, the following Sunday. I'm just planning to book the, um, the municipal swimming pool. And there are some are ready. So those who are not given your name or anything, if you are willing, please let me know that I can explain to you more about the baptism and we can go together.